Ladies and gentlemen, at this point in the show, I was going to do some silly comedy stuff, but my producer, Lauren Michael, said to me, Steve, you're here in New York. It's the cultural center of the world. The finest artists and musicians live here. Why not take a couple of minutes and present some classical music? And I thought about it for a minute, and I said, what? <laughs> then I thought a little more, and I said, okay because I love this cultural stuff. I don't think it's going to screw up my television special. People aren't going to tune out. And I really think it's going to work. I really, really believe that you're going to enjoy this. I really do. So anyway, we went out, got the mess, best, <laughs> the best musicians money can buy. Ladies and gentlemen, the American String Quartet. So, uh, your name is? Dan of Shalomov. And you want to introduce the rest of your side men? <laughs> yes, this is David Gaber, cellist, mm -hmm. Laurie Carney, and Mitchell Stern, violinist. Nice to have you here. How does it feel to work on network television instead of PBS? <laughs> it's very exciting. You know, it's curious, you did this for very little money. Uh, why is that? We love to play. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> kind of interesting. I never heard of that. Anyway, so what are you going to play? Something like uh, Strangers in Paradise? Well, that's an orchestral piece, Steve. But did you know that the original theme from Strangers in Paradise actually comes from the Paul Avetsian dance number two by Bordy? What? <laughs> and perhaps you'll recognize this haunting melody. Tonight we love. Yes. But actually, that's taken from Tchaikovsky's concerto in B-flat minor. Oh, I see. So many of today's modern melodies of well-known popular songs were actually composed by the great masters. So which great master are you going to play? Bartok. Okay, so this will be like, uh, I left my heart in San Francisco or something like that. So how long is this piece? About 17 minutes. Ooh. It's really going to cut into the donkey sketch. Don't you have something in the uh, two to three minute area? Well, Stephen, we rehearsed the bar talk. Ah, see, I know you're into your own thing, but uh, put yourself in the audience's shoes. Would you want to sit through 17 minutes of bar talk? I don't think so. So just kind of shorten it, tighten it a little bit, hone it. We do this in network TV all the time. Just take out the boring stuff, okay? I'm all for it. Go ahead. Just the first movement. <laughs> 